is a 50 centimeter, approximately 50 centimeter wide terracotta bird bath bowl or just a big dish. And it's 11 centimeters deep this way. It's quite heavy and I'm doing it as a commission. So I marked the center because the design is a great big flower that radiates to represent the stained glass cross in the chapel at the school. So it's a fairly contemporary free-flowing mosaic. But I marked approximately the center because it'll be the center of the flower, but I can do that again if I want. I just started off that way, but I've got the hydroban, lighter grade hydroban waterproof membrane, and I'm going to apply a coat and let it dry and add a second coat before I apply the mosaic. And this gives a good waterproof membrane to the quite porous terracotta. I like to cut up a grouting sponge into small pieces and it's sometimes a good idea to give a damp coating. I'm not saturating it with water, I'm just going around and dampening it because it helps apply the hydrogen more easily. So just, a, just you can see, it's just a light wipe over, not lots of drips or water. Swashing everywhere, just rubbing it in. You can see the colour changing. So I do this whenever I've got a damp sponge handy. There we go. So if there's lots of water puddling there, I could see my reflection, I'd let it dry off a bit. So I can put the sponge down and grab the hydroban, which is good. This has been decanted from their big vats and you can buy it from the Mosaic Mall or Oz Mosaics. Shake it up. And then rather than put in a saucer or another bowl, I just blob a bit out from the container, put the lid back on. It's a good idea to keep the lid on, even while you're working. And of course I've got some gloves on. So I can get the same sponge and wring it out almost dry. Make sure there's no water running off your gloves and just start smearing it around. The beauty of this is that the felt pen line where I mark the center will still show through the hydroban coat. If you didn't want to put mosaic decoration on the wide rim, this is a three centimeter rim, I could simply leave that area. I would only put the hydroban where I'm putting the mosaic, but the client wants it to come right up and over the edge, so I'll be going over the top a little as well. The idea with the hydroban is you don't put it on too thickly, pop it on and let it soak in. Try not to miss any spaces of the terracotta surface. It doesn't take long. The beauty of using a sponge rather than the paintbrush, which Dave gave me because he likes to use a paintbrush, is that it goes on easily. And also, the hydroband isn't clinging all over the paintbrush. You have to clean it out. I can just clean this out and reuse the sponge. You can clean hydroband off with cold water while it's still fresh. After that, it's pretty sticky. It's almost glues on. If you didn't have hydroban, your next best bet would be to use some diluted well bond or PVA glue. See the tips and tricks section of the molds for that. You can see all the tips and tricks in the molds. This is just a project that's going to go into the molds as well as the tips and tricks section because I think you might like to do this. And it'll tell you where that we purchased the bird bath. So this could be concrete or it could be terracotta, whatever. You would not do this if it was a shiny surface and already sealed. You would be scratching it up, keying it up. So look in the moss under how to prepare surfaces. Okay, and I'll just put another little bit around the top. And we'll do a second coat when that's dried. I'm also just going to run about that far over the edge because 
the client wants this blue tile, part of the blue tile to go over the edge and then I'll paint the bottom or do something dramatic. So for now, I just rub a little bit around there to protect it. There we go. So you can see it's not on that thick, but it's enough to give it its first coating. It should be on evenly. If it starts to come off as you spread it, you probably put too much on. It's best to let that dry, then do a second coat. When they do pools, they often go one direction, let it dry, and then come back the other. Now the beauty with the green hydro band, it used to be black in our early days, is that you see the color it is now that will dry probably half an hour or so or an hour depends on the weather into an, a deeper olive color and you know it's ready to go we used to have to wait 24 hours between coats but we don't now so that one's done and I have another one that I want to prepare as well so I'm just going to sit it here balance it on the edge Make sure it's clean. I've already washed it down earlier. And again, I'm just going to get a little bit of water and just damp it first, just slightly. Damp it down. There we go. And just carefully, just going to pop some more in this one. And off we go again. So it's good if you've got a few things to prep at once and you can have them curing away. Now the tip with Hydroband is if you've already done the, the waterproof membrane like this and you're not going to do it for a while, it's good to keep in a dark place or keep it covered or indoors because outside, if you leave Hydroband in the sunlight, it will break it down over time. It's meant to be under the mosaic or under a painted surface or whatever. It's not the top icing, so to speak. You should never see the hydroband. It should always be underneath your mosaic. But as I said, if I just suddenly mosaic the centre and didn't want to mosaic the rest, I'd apply the hydroband. I could come back and put some render over it or house paint or more mosaic, but I wouldn't leave it showing. So don't go wild hydrobanding every little thing everywhere unless you know what you're going to do because you might be sorry you've covered up the terracotta or the concrete if you're not covering it fully. So if I lift that out of there, I'll come back shortly and give it another coat. Okay, just touch up where I had that sitting in there. So that will get another coat soon. So if I'd finished with that, if I didn't have anything else to use that on, I go over to my water and I wring it out Usually you have newspaper on the bench, too lazy. Get it all out, run it under some fresh water. And I will put that in a bag called my Hydroband sponge and I could just keep using it and using it. It's a good way of keeping it. So I will do a second coat as soon as this changes colour.